Hello there and welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at question 3. So relative to a fixed point O, point A has position vector 2, 5, minus 6, B has position vector 3, minus 3, minus 4, and C has position vector 2, minus 16, 4K. Um, and find the vector from A to B. Okay, so you can either do it one of two ways. You can do coordinate B, take away coordinate A, 2, 5, minus 6. So it's going to be 1, 2, sorry, no, not minus, uh, minus 8, and double negative here, 2. You can always check how do you get from 2 up to 3, you add 1. How do you get from 5 down to minus 3, you take away 8. And how do you get from minus 6 up to minus 4, you add 2. So there we are, that's the answer. Now part B, show that the quadrilateral OABC is a trapezium, giving an answer for your answer. Well, the only property of a trapezium is that it has a pair of opposite parallel sides. A trapezium is a four-sided shape, has um, a pair of parallel sides. That's the only real property of a trapezium. And I assume it's got to do something with this A, B here. And if I go from O to C, then you can see that that's going to be doubled. So A, B is the vector 1 minus 8, 2. And O to C is going to be the vector 2 minus 16, 4. Um, which are the two parallel sides? Which are the two parallel sides? And you can clearly see they're parallel because one is a scale factor of the other. But what we've also got to take into account is that for trapeziums, one side must be longer, the one parallel side must be longer than the other parallel side, because if the two parallel sides were equal, then that would make yourself a um, rhombus or a parallelogram. So we also need to include a little sentence, but the lengths of AB and OC are different. And that's the property of a trapezium. They have the parallel side, pair of parallel sides, but the length of those parallel sides are different. So there we are. That's the answer for question three. That's worth four marks there. Let's now move on to question four.